Here's our tail of the tape. Ben Sadiq, 6'9", 273.8. Marshall, 6'5", 249.3. But Marshall with a five inch reach advantage. Professional experience and bigger fights goes to Jamal Ben Sadiq. And again, that KO power that we see from Jamal Ben Sadiq. But you got to look at D'Angelo Marshall, can put you out with any of his strikes as well. Here's a look at my keys to glory, and D'Angelo Marshall needs to control the range. He's got to move in or stay out, not in the middle, where Jamal Ben Sadiq looked for him to control the ring and to look to land his power. And even more kicks this time, as he promised. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the heavyweight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner. His glory debut came nearly six years ago at Glory 2 Brussels. His professional record, 31 wins with seven losses, one no contest, and 25 career knockouts. He stands six feet, nine inches tall, 2.05 meters, and he weighed in at 273.8 pounds, 124.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jamal the Goliath. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a contender tournament champion, and knockout of the nine at Den Bos at Glory 41. His record stands at 18 wins with three losses. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 249.3 pounds, 113.1 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Curacao. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing D'Angelo Big Papa Marshall. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Judge, judge, judge. There's Badr Hari, another Moroccan heavyweight. And look at Goliath, he's ready to go, Joe. Right in the middle of the ring, they're both gonna taste it. Here we go, this could be over in a few seconds. Ring the bell, let's go. Fight. Let the animals out. Need I tell you, the Goliath in the black gloves, D'Angelo Marshall, who got a pretty big ovation in the white. Yeah, ready, you can try, you see. Oh, oh, that's a knockdown. The Goliath with a quick knockdown. Marshall looking around, I think he's okay. Five, six, Yeah, Marshall's trying to stay close to Sadiq to shut his power down. But he ate some punches coming in. He ate another one. Look at the Goliath. Bombs away. And another knockdown. One more and it's over. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, gloves up. Fight! Here comes Goliath again. He promised us this would be his best performance ever after a lackluster fight against Jafar Wilness. And D'Angelo Marshall needs to stay patient, not just open up like this. And that's it! That's it! It is over! Jamal Ben Sadiq! That positivity from his results definitely showed. He came in, he looked hungry, and he came right after D'Angelo with those punches. My word, Joe. The beast has awoken inside this man again. Yeah, absolutely. We see a new spark and a new fire in Jamal Ben Sadiq. And those of you who have battled cancer or know someone that is, is fighting that disease, you probably know the relief that Jamal felt this week. We saw him, he was so relaxed. He said, listen, I'm basically cancer free right now. I've never felt this good. I'm so excited to be living my life. This opportunity, I will not let it pass me by. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at how all of this action started. It was D'Angelo Marshall really trying to close the distance, which is a good strategy, but you you got to be smart about it. Here it comes as he's trying to walk in. Jamal Ben Sadiq throws his straight punches. And D'Angelo Marshall's just opening up a little too much versus those straight punches. And that's all your, that was the first knockdown. And Sadiq just looked good. He just got in there, got aggressive, but 
D'Angelo Marshall, instead of trying to move, he wanted to really go out there and, and show that he can put the big Sadiq out. But here's the third knockdown coming from a right hand. Set up, you see D'Angelo backing up. So you see that big wide punches, and that was the mistake that D'Angelo made. Looping his punches too wide, where Jamal Ben Sadiq decided to stay with his straight punches and got the TKO win. After back to back losses to Rico Verhoeven and Jafar Wilness, Jamal Ben Sadiq bounces back in the biggest way possible. Three knockdowns in round one. Don't go anywhere, we'll return after this. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end by way of the glory maximum knockdown rule with an official time of 57 seconds of that very first round and ends by technical knockout. For your winner, Jamal Ben Sadi. Jamal, congratulations on an outstanding win, outstanding performance. You were chomping at the bit to get at him right at the beginning of the fight. How would you rate this performance? Maybe the best of your career? Uh, not the best in my career, but I was so hungry. I come from uh, two uh, losses. I disappointed my fans. And uh, I think this was the, the right moment to, uh, to make it all good in the Orange Grave Arena. So I'm very happy that I uh, with this uh, win. Let's look at the knockdowns. We're going to show them up on the screen. Take us through it. You got three in the first round. That's a TKO. Here's number one. Yeah. Like, uh, I knocked them always uh, out like this. So this was the first, because I, I know from this moment uh, I have them. So then just uh, wait. Don't rush. And uh, take my time to, uh, to knock him out again. Three knockdowns in one round, that requires a stoppage. And Jamal, I know you're an inspiration to a lot of people. You're a cancer survivor. I know you got some, some really good news recently. What does it mean to you to be happy, healthy, and winning again? Uh, last week, I got the best result in six years. So I was uh, very happy with the results, and I had so much hungry for this fight to make uh, my fans uh, proud again. And uh, I hope I did. And. Uh, And uh, quitting is uh, not an option for me. I love kickboxing. I can't stop with it. And uh, I want to thank. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my fans around the world. Thank you.